Hi, hi, Sailor Moon Serena here, and today I'm going to make a video, and this will be the last time I make the video talking about why we no longer use Google Hangouts or YouTube live streaming. Now, on YouTube, there is a thing called Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming, and it runs through the Google Hangouts program. Now, a lot of people might wonder why we don't use it anymore. And some people might figure why we even use it at all. Now, when YouTube phased it out, YouTube webcam capture, we didn't have any other alternative to make video, make moving shows on YouTube. So we had to use Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming until we could find out some, to make something that could, um, you know, something until we could find out how to do it. And it was always hit and misses because we never knew the right keywords to put in the Google Web Store. So it was about a year and a half of Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming that, that we unfortunately went through. Now, you might ask yourself, why did we even stop using Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming? Number one, an error would happen one day when we try to come on and use it, and it would keep on telling us, oh, you want to go into a conference call? Well, you got to wait for all your other subscribers to join. And we never used Google Hangouts or YouTube live streaming in that way. So, and we kept going back in and kept on doing it things. So we said, and we're not using it anymore. So we went back on a Google web store and put in webcam record, something we should have put in, you know, way back when, but we didn't know the right, but at the time we didn't know the right um, keywords. And up came the native video record, well actually first came the online video recorder that basically broke down after three months. And then can a native video recorder that's been working ever since. Now, a lot of people might ask themselves, then why yesterday were you using it again? Well, I just wanted to see if it still worked and wanted to see if YouTube changed anything about it or gave it a facelift. But to my knowledge, Google hasn't really changed that much about Google Hangouts. They may have given it some facelift a little bit. But at the end of the day, it still operates the same way it operated since it was introduced in 2013 AD. But we don't use it to make actual videos anymore. So the moving show that we did use it to see if it still worked, we end up removing it. Okay. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people who use Google Hangout, YouTube live streaming every day or use it occasionally when they want to talk about stuff or when they have conference calls and that's their own choice. But we personally never really liked Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming. Why? Number one, it wasn't as easy as you think. When it came to video, YouTube video file upload, all you had to do was as long as your webcam recorder turn it on and start recording. You didn't have to go in and you know, title, describe, tag. You didn't have to go in and set up all your commenting uh, settings or anything or your rec or the recording location or date, month, the year, date, month, the month, date, and year of the recording and what category it was in and all kinds of other stuff. You didn't have to do any of that. You didn't have to, you didn't have to click on, oh, wait for it to load and then click into it. And then you didn't have to worry about, you know, that it was done. But apparently you apparently when it came to you, when it came to Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming, they never Google never really figured it, never thought that it would be that complicated, that time consuming. They thought people would like to go through all, all of that. Well, maybe there are some people who like to do that, but for someone who is on a schedule or, or routine and they have to play around with all that, it's certainly not good, okay? And if it, it jacked up once, then chances are it's going to jack up again, you know? 
And I know there's going to be some people saying, but there's going to be some people out there that say, well, maybe some like it. Yes, as I mentioned, some people actually do like to use Google Hangouts, YouTube live streaming, and that's their own business. But because it's too time consuming and all that stuff you have to do, you know, just to, you know, first you got to go into Google Hangouts or YouTube live streaming, click on live event, then you have to you have to title, describe, and tag, and set the recording location, and date the map if you want to date it, and your your commenting settings, and all kinds of stuff. Then hit start, and then watch it go into Google Hangouts, and then do all that. And also, you really can't change any of the settings on it. By default, you do have the option between a still uh, uh, your icon or yourself, but that's about it. You can't change it. It's in high definition and you can't really change it. And if you stop the video, yeah, you stopped it, but it starts uploading. So let's say you want it to start over again. You can't. You got to go through and delete your other upload, go back through the whole process again just to make another moving show. So at the end of the day, it's not, it's really comp, it's, you know, uh, very time consuming and that's why we don't use it anymore. I'm Sailor Moon Serena. Hope you enjoyed this video.